Hello, this is a very brief tutorial looking at GraphPad Prism. We're going to look at ways of calculating area under the curve when you're looking at line data or XY data. What you can see on the screen is some data um, where we've got two responses labeled response 1 and response 2 in relation to a time. So if we look at this as a graph, you can see that we have two different data sets, response 1 in blue and response 2 in red. And these two data sets clearly have some kind of effect over time, but you could uh, summarize that response 1 appears to be a greater effect than response 2. One of the ways of assessing this kind of information is to work out the area under the curve. In other words, the area underneath each of these lines down to a baseline position. And in this case, the graph is showing this as leading down to 0 on the y-axis. So this data is actually quite useful sometimes in terms of power or force. This is a great indication of work, but in terms of this kind of response, it's an indication of the degree of responsiveness of your two different responses. So PRISM have thought about working out areas under the curve incredibly simply, and in fact you can do it from one of three places. You can either click on your data table, choose Analyze, and then going down to the XY analysis, choose Area Under Curve and select both of your data sets or one of your data sets. The second way of doing it is going to your graph, choosing Analyze and choosing Area Under the Curve and again selecting A or B. The third way is to go to your results section on the left hand side of your window clicking on New Analysis, going down and choosing Area Under the Curve, and selecting the two lines or either line, depending which one you want to analyse. If you select multiple lines, it will do individual Area Under the Curve analysis for each data set and report this separately. Since we're now on this window, this is the last option we have, we're going to click on OK. The next window that appears gives you a few choices. Again, these choices are best read from top to bottom, just to quickly work out what it is you wish to do. You first have to decide what your baseline is, and here baseline has been set by default to zero. You could choose to average the difference between the first, for instance, and the last certain number of rows. This is good if you've got a moving baseline. We don't know what the baseline is in this kind of experiment. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to choose y equals 0 as our baseline. What this will do is pretty much the same as what we've got on our filled graph figure. It will fill a line from y0 at time point 0 across to time point 10 and fill up until it hits each of the lines. You can ask it to ignore peaks, for instance here, that are less than a percentage of the distance from the minimum to the maximum y value, and this is if there are very small peaks that aren't really affecting the area. You can choose whether you uh, ignore minimum peaks that are defined by fewer than two adjacent points. We're not going to do that. This is a very short data set, so this is just a way of minimizing the calculations that PRISM does when working out area under the curve. And in this case, we know that all of our peaks go above the baseline. The data set clearly shows an increase over time. But your data might show a decrease as well, in which case you may want to deduct those numbers from your area under the curve if they go below the baseline. But you can consider peaks that go below the baseline here. Next, we can select how many significant digits. And I'm going to leave this as a default on 4. Then I press OK. Immediately, we get our Area Under the Curve, or AUC, results page, which is found in the Results section and also in the Family Explorer down the bottom left-hand side of PRISM. And this will report the area, the standard error of the area, the 95% confidence intervals of the area, and also the peak and the X and Y residuals down the bottom. But the number we're mostly looking for is the total area, and by highlighting here, in this case, row number 3, we can clearly see that the area under the curve in the blue line is 70.33, and the area under the curve in the red response is 30.67. And this is clearly reflected in the graphical illustration shown here. So that's how you do area under the curve, a simple analysis in GraphPad Prism.